alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big-time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Kid Dynamite showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Money's showing you that intensity that so many of the very best will display during a ring walk. Totally focused. His adversary, from Jacksonville, Mark. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Nice block by Money. Dynamite's now feeling the after effects of being rocked by a huge hook to the head. Wow, is he defensively sound. Able to dismiss that body shot. Precision work with the left hand by Kid Dynamite. Money's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Halfway through round number one. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Good way to protect the midsection. To the head he goes with a left hand. Unable to make an impact there by Kid Dynamite. Money's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Kid Dynamite's corner's got to be thrilled with what they just saw. They won that last round. They put down a beatdown on their opponent. And now they got to be thinking, hey, this thing could really snowball in our favor big time when we get off the stool here. Yeah, they have to feel that way. Keep it going. Why change it now? You know, what you did the last round, it worked for you. It got you into a commanding position. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. But remember your defensive responsibilities as you go forward. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Solid right by Kid Dynamite. Money's nailed by a huge uppercut. Look at that. The hook came home with ease. What impact from that uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Comes right back at him with a left hand. A razor sharp hook to the head by Kid Dynamite. That's where you want to be. Halfway through round number two. Kid Dynamite's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Well off the mark by Kid Dynamite. Blocks away that headshot. And a well-targeted combination by Kid Dynamite. Money 
Maurice hurt by a superb hook to the head. Keep that head moving. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Ten seconds to go in this round. Money's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. You want this fight? You want this fight? Listen to me. Do you want it? And round number three is underway. A headshot blocked. Money's defense is paying off now. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. That's a good hook by Money. Kid Dynamite's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Scoring with the right hand by Money. Money's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Scores with the uppercut. The left hand coming into play by Money. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good right hand. Money's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. This one. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Kid Dynamite's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. That is a huge headshot after blocking his opponent. Money's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Listen, you need to move your head. You know what I need you to do? I need you to react. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Kid Dynamite's taken the first three rounds. And Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator, but in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything back. Money's lacking that jab there. He just hasn't committed to throwing it at all. I mean, that's the most basic thing in the world is to use that jab. That jab does so many things for you. Keeps the guy defensive, and obviously it sets up your offense. Scored well with the hook. What a smart combination by Kid Dynamite. Go, go. Money's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Solid hook upstairs. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Good flush shot upstairs. Good right hand by Money. Kid Dynamite's gotta be feeling the impact of that uppercut. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. Money is the victim of a powerful hook. Not able to land the headshot. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Kid Dynamite's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight 
where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the Keep beginning, moving, they've move, been fighting move, with move. desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Targeting a left hand to the body. Hit Dynamite scoring with one of the most effective punches there is. Landing an uppercut on the inside. Well, it's the right punch for the right place. The hands up of his opponent, but there's an opening right up that middle. Split the guard. And the punch is the uppercut. That's the ticket. And he's going with it. Scored well with the left downstairs. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Kid Dynamite. Great work offensively landing that combination by Kid Dynamite. And now a well-placed hook to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Accurate hook by Money. Money's combination punching is working well here. Hit Dynamite's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. Money's absorbing a hook. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand? Well placed shot there. Hey, we gotta get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. And that does it for this round. He just cannot get out of the way of these headshots. Time and time again, his opponent has been landing. Money's looking for the answer. He's yet to find it. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Kid Dynamite's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Focus. Money's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Very good work on the inside with the uppercut. Now, if you're standing opposite that right there, Teddy, what do you have to do to stop it? Well, first of all, you have to understand and recognize that's the punch you should be aware of and close because there's only a few punches. You're in real close. There's not room for too many other punches. The uppercut is the one you expect. So expect it, first of all, and move your head on the side so it misses you. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Money's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. See, that's what you want from his left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand by Money. Off target with that hook. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Kid Dynamite's left now getting into the mix. Very accurate two-punch combo by Money. So he takes a breather between rounds after he's, he's just looking for more of the same punishment. Teddy, we've been sitting here all night long as he lands these thudding blows. You can just hear the damage landing. Yeah, and I can feel them. Some fluids that I don't really want are coming onto my shirt. Kid Dynamite's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. He clinches when he gets to the inside.
getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Money. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Kid Dynamite's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Money's banged up by a left hand. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Money. Kid Dynamite's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. He gets off with a combination up top. Good plus shot by Kid Dynamite. Good block there by Money. Kid Dynamite's banged around by a big uppercut. Good flush, straight left hand. Solid right by Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite's left, landing well. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Three minutes gone by in this round. Start of round number eight, a look at Teddy's scorecard. It's easy to see. Kid Dynamite's in prime form tonight. He's out punching his opponent consistently. Yeah, it's easy to see why he's using that jab. That jab is opening the door to a lot of things. Money's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Money. Money's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Kid Dynamite. Left to the body. Accurate with a straight left. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. The halfway point of round number eight. Money's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. A solid left hand by Kid Dynamite. Money's proving to be elusive. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Super two-punch combo by Money. Money's impressing the judges and himself hey, with hey, that hey, right hey, hand. Hey, 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 let's go out there now. Come on, now, let me see. Oh. Kid Dynamite's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. A little head hunting with the right. And a sharp counter punch by Kid Dynamite. And round eight comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Money's cut even much worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Protecting his head well with his guards. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Money's making for a very inviting target right now. You can see the blood around that eye. The cut is obviously worse than it was just moments ago. What a big shot. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put. Well, that was south of the border, and the ref gives him the warning. Stay on the inside. Keep your head moving. 
well-targeted two-punch combo by Money. Lands a big hook. Up top with the right hand. Good job, good job. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Look at that combination by Kid Dynamite. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being solid. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Down he goes, now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's gonna have to grab on. Kill a little time. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, you can mark down another route for him there with his precise, accurate punching. What does his opponent have to do? He has to faint a little bit. Fainting is the kryptonite to timing. It throws it off. You know, you faint and you're gonna throw something, you don't throw it. And then he makes a move, then you throw okay, it. Deep breath. Pain. Deep breath. That's the key. Relax. Relax. You all right? You need to just keep your hand. Now this is it. Tenth and final round. Scored well with that straight left. Kid Dynamite's doing well here with that two-punch combination. He's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Kid Dynamite's banged by a big uppercut. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. And now he scores with that left to the body. Good biting, snapping shot by Money. He's getting hit a ton now. He needs to add some defense to his game. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Hit Dynamite smashed by an uppercut. Targeting that. Did you see that? What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did get it. He got it. That left hand over the top, he's accurate with it. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Money. Money's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. You Scores up top line. with a left. He's tired, he's tired. And banging away he goes. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Well, you should lose your judge's license you if you have it any other way but the obvious here, yeah. Teddy. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a wanted poster, that you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer.